four steps on how to become a courageous person. Hi guys, today I will do a Q&A video where I answer questions that I received from you, my YouTube viewers. And the question is, how to be a courageous person? If you're new to my channel and wonder how you can submit your question, that's easy. Just type it in the comments of this video. This is a great opportunity for you to receive my professional guidance free of cost. I created this channel, Psychology of Happiness, for you. But if you don't ask, I won't be able to help. So type your question in the comments. Before I talk about four steps on how to become a courageous person, if you don't know me, my name is Elena Semenek. I'm a psychologist and a life coach. I offer online private sessions and I'm a creator of multiple healing courses. This is my YouTube channel, Psychology of Happiness. Welcome! On this channel, I help you to boost your self-confidence, to overcome your insecurities, and to guide you in creating loving, profound relationships. Every week, I release a new video about self-esteem, relationships, anxieties, limiting beliefs, and all other essential topics that will guide you to manifest all your dreams and have a fulfilling life. So start watching my videos one by one. I have 500 plus of them on my channel and I guarantee that sooner than you expect, you will become a happier, healthier and more successful person. So subscribe to my channel, click the bell to turn on the notification so you won't miss my next important video. And now let's talk about how to be courageous. Let's start with what does it mean to be a courageous person? Being courageous means the ability to get out of your comfort zone. Being courageous means to go through tension and discomfort. Being courageous means overcoming your fears and insecurities. Today, I am going to share four steps that will help you to become more confident in yourself and braver in life. Let's start. Step number one on how to become a courageous person is acknowledge your discomfort. Example, you want to be paid more for the job that you do, but the idea of talking to your boss is terrifying. You are afraid that your boss does not value your skills enough, or you might even feel humiliated asking him for a raise. So instead of jumping into a conclusion about what your boss might say, acknowledge your feelings. Acknowledge the discomfort that you feel inside your body. Notice where in your body you feel tension. It is in your shoulders, or maybe your knees feel weird. Or maybe you feel a lump in your throat and are afraid that will forget your words after you see your boss. So, when you acknowledge where you feel the discomfort, try to relax that part of your body. Do some stretching, massage of that part of the body, or simply take a few deep breaths in and out and imagine that you are relaxing the muscles with each breath. Once you feel more physically relaxed in your body, the mental discomfort will decrease as well. Our physical body always reflects our mental states. Any mental problems that we experience will always manifest in our body one way or another. By paying attention to your body and connecting to your physical feelings, you can help yourself to overcome many insecurities and fears. Before talking about the second step on how to become courageous, I would like to give you a gift. I would like to share with you free of charge five self-development webinars, five free guided meditations, and five healing exercises. Check the link below the video or visit elenasemenek.com. Actually, stop the video right now. Grab your free tools so you won't forget about it later. Do it right now. I will give you a few seconds. 
Okay, step number two on how to become a courageous person is confront your fear. Let's get back to the example of asking your boss for a raise. Ask yourself, what are you really afraid of? Are you afraid that your boss will laugh at you? Do you fear being rejected? Are you afraid of sound stupid? In 99% of the time, people will realize that the foundation of their fear is the feeling that they are not good enough. I am not skilled enough to be paid more at work. I am not supportive enough to be called a good friend. I am not loving and caring enough to be called a great partner. I am not smart enough, skinny enough, not kind enough. Someone is always better than me or has more rights to receive the good things in life. If this sounds familiar, then my advice is, once you finish watching this video, watch my two other videos. Number one, five tips on how to overcome inferiority complex. And number two, self-worth in relationships. The links are in the video description. We are all different. We all have our unique skills, talents and qualities. If you can name yours and if you catch yourself comparing yourself to other people's and feeling less worthy, it's time to work on that. Self-confidence is a skill that can be learned. So watch my videos, practice the exercises that I share with you and sooner than you expect, you will feel braver and more confident in yourself. I can guarantee that. Before I share the third tip on how to become a courageous person, let me introduce the sponsors of today's video, BetterHelp. One of the best ways to explain therapy is through analogy. So we get our car inspected to prevent bigger issues down the road. We work out and visit the doctor to prevent and heal from injuries or diseases. We see dentists to prevent cavities. Going to therapy is just like all of this. Therapy helps you to maintain and improve your mental and emotional wellness. It does not mean that something is wrong with you. It means that you invest in yourself to keep your mind healthy. So BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. You just fill out a questionnaire and you get matched with a therapist within 48 hours. You can schedule a secure video or phone session, plus you can send unlimited messages to your therapist and everything you share is completely confidential. Being a therapist myself, I also have my own therapist. As dentist goes to another dentist to check his teeth, a therapist go to another therapist for his mental health. So check out betterhelp.com and for all my viewers, I have a special link. To get 10% off your first month, go to betterhelp.com slash psychology of happiness. It is betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash psychology of happiness. Okay, let's get back to our topic how to become a courageous person. Step number three on how to become a courageous person is use positive self-talk. However, positive self-talk can be toxic if not used properly. There is a helpful and a harmful way of using positive self-talk. Let me explain. For instance, let's say there is something about your partner that's really bothering you. You want to talk to him about it, but you're afraid of being misunderstood. The harmful way of positive self-talk would be if you say to yourself, I can do it. I deserve to be treated better. I have to speak up about myself. I have to speak up about my own needs. He must know that he's hurting my feelings. I have the right to talk about my feelings. I am brave. I can do it. I will talk about my desires, my needs with my partners today. 
this type of positive self-talk will not help you. It will only create an emotional distance or disconnect with your partner. This positive self-talk is more about me versus the other person. I deserve to be treated better. He must know that he's hurting me. I have my rights, etc. So another more beneficial way of using positive self-talk is to acknowledge your insecurities together with the possible positive outcome. For example, you can say to yourself something like this. Even though I'm afraid that my partner might misunderstand me, I would like to have this conversation anyway. I know my partner and I'll do my best to explain my situation without going into an argument. Even though we might not understand each other right away, I still want to speak up about my needs. I love myself and I care about myself and I care about the relationships in my life. Both of us deserve to be happy. Do you feel the difference? Scroll the video back and listen to uh, these two positive self-talks once again. Try to repeat the phrases after me and notice your feelings. Maybe you can modify my statements a little bit based on your own situation and try to practice them in front of the mirror. And then share your thoughts in the comments. I will be happy to read them. Let me give you a few more examples of helpful positive self-talk. Let's say you are going to a party where you don't know anyone. You can say to yourself, okay, even if I don't know anyone there, I might feel uncomfortable at the beginning, but I will have a chance to meet new people and practice overcoming my insecurities. So at the end, I can become more confident in myself. Another example, uh, let's say you need to do a presentation at work and you feel terrified about it. You can say to yourself, I may refuse the opportunity to do this presentation or I can take this challenge, write a script and practice in front of the mirror. I can even ask my partner or my best friend to help me to practice it. I will be prepared mentally and physically. In addition to practicing my speech, I am going to have a good night's sleep so I feel great in the morning of the presentation. I am not going to give up on myself. I am not going to aim for perfection, I will just do my best. Again, scroll the video back and listen to the examples a couple more times. Repeat the phrases after me. Once you get the structure down, you can customize it based on your own situation. And finally, step number four on how to become a courageous person is find a therapist. It will not mean that something is wrong with you. Just the fact that you're watching this video means that you're pretty brave. You're pretty brave to admit that you are having some difficulties in life. You are not ignoring your insecurities. You are not pretending that they don't exist. You are actually working on them. You are looking for a solution. You are not giving up on yourself. And this already means a lot. This is already half the battle. So, since you are watching this video, it means that you are ready to work on your fears and insecurities. You just need a person who can understand your challenges and guide you in your self-development journey. You need a person who can support you emotionally and is knowledgeable enough to offer you a set of customized exercises that will help you to reach your goals faster. So, in addition to this video, go and watch some of my other videos. 1. How to overcome an inferiority complex. 2. How to be selfish. 3. Self-worth in relationships. And the fourth video that I recommend watching is 7 Signs of Learned Helplessness. By the way, I have 500 plus of them on my channel. And I guarantee that sooner than you expect, you will become a happier, healthier and more courageous person. If you like my approach, if this video was helpful, then I will be happy to be your personal 
therapist. I offer private online sessions, online healing courses, and I'm the founder of the Happiness Club, where members have immediate access to my entire healing database of guided meditations, breathing exercises, journaling techniques, art therapy, and much more. All the links are in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and share it on your social media. And now go and watch my four other videos that I mentioned before. Subscribe and I will see you soon in my next important video. Bye!